I grew up in Oxford, Mississippi up in the late 60s and uh, spent an awful lot of time up in Benton County, which is Ashland, Mississippi, where my daddy was from. And I was deer hunting with family and uh, hunted up there for over 20 years. But uh, during that time, it was very seldom you'd see a deer, let alone a deer, deer track. But now today, they got plenty of deer. We didn't even have turkeys up there until after 1975 when the Game and Fish brought them in. And uh, we took eight hens and three gobblers, and in about four years, they opened up the season on turkeys in Benton County because we protected them and fed them. But uh, I grew up always wanting to photograph wildlife, and uh, I always carried a little pocket Kodak Instamatic camera with me, and nobody skint the deer or cleaned the fish or... Uh, got ready to eat fry rabbit or uh, dress some coons from the night before until I got pictures of them to put on the wall of the deer camp. And one morning, about nine o'clock, we were coming in because it was colder and who'd have thought? It was eight degrees out there. And uh, I was in the back of Mr. Harold's truck and there was a screech owl over in a little old uh, bramble of honeysuckle. And I beat on the side of the truck and got out with my pocket instamatic and got within two feet of him. and took his picture and that kind of started my wildlife photography career. Uh, I was well over 30 years old before I bought my first 35 millimeter camera. Uh, once I'd saved the money to buy it, I bought an automatic camera and a 100 to 300 telephoto zoom and a wide angle and went down to Walmart and bought me a $19.95 cent tripod, bounced around out here in Rankin County around the reservoir. Uh, just knowing I'd be on the cover of Ducks Unlimited and deer and deer hunting within a couple of months. A couple of things I forgot about, and that was learning something about photography. And uh, also, even though I've been told this by educated Mississippians, it, contrary to belief, you cannot walk up to a wild critter just because you got a camera in your hand. And uh, after a couple of years, I got very frustrated with the whole thing and packed that camera up, put it up on the top shelf in the closet. About 30 years ago, my wife of 26 years now gave me a little uh, 70 to 210 macro focus lens, which will let you close focus. And I went out here to the Ville camera and bought a book of photography. And I started studying about apertures and uh, f-stops and shutter speeds and exposure and uh, practicing on critters and, and things that couldn't outrun me like deer, ducks, and turkey. Uh, I chased uh, lizards and frogs and snakes and turtles and butterflies and scenics and sunrises, sunsets, and uh, got to be pretty good at it and started s submitting my images to magazines like uh, Mississippi Outdoors uh, back in the mid-80s and uh, went to the mailbox one day and lo, was had a full page image in uh, Mississippi outdoors of a little tree frog.